Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Mindy Banks. I'm the Flip Flop Chef and today we're talking about cookware. And obviously we're featuring Pampered Chef cookware in this video. If you don't know already, I'm a consultant with Pampered Chef. So if you need anything, I would love the opportunity to help you anytime and I'll take really good care of you. I've been a consultant for over 25 years and I love taking care of my customers. And one of the things that I get, one of the questions I get often is, what is the best cookware for me, Mindy? And so I'm here to show you all the options that you have from Pampered Chef. I'm gonna give you all the features and benefits of every line that we sell so that you'll be able to make a decision for yourself to decide what cookware is best for you. So if this is the first time that you're watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and also go to the flipflopchef.com and click the button at the top of the page so that you'll be able to access my recipe community and our weekly giveaways that I do there every single week. So you don't wanna miss that. That's really where all the magic happens. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I have some cheat sheets and as you can see, I have cookware, cookware, cookware. And so Pampered Chef has one, two, three, four, five, six lines of cookware. So that's a lot to choose from and sometimes it's really hard to know what is best for you. So I'll tell you during the video, the things that I prefer to use the most, the things that I use the least, but that doesn't mean that what I use the least isn't the best option for you. Everybody has different cooking styles, everybody has different preferences, and so the great thing is we have something for everyone. So the first thing I wanna talk about is our rock crock. So currently at the time of recording this video, we only have one rock crock available, and I'm hoping in the future they'll bring back some more. But if you have our rock crock already, um, any of them, this is the four quart Dutch oven. And I'm gonna read you the benefits because I'm afraid that I will forget to tell you something. So I'm just gonna cheat today, use my catalog as a reference before the rock crock. Um, this can be used on the stove top, the oven, the broiler, the microwave, and the grill and it can also go in the dishwasher so it's very very easy to clean um, you can use metal utensils so you can use your salad choppers you can use your um, any metal utensils you already have I grabbed the mini serving spatula because I really don't cook with metal utensils myself but I know a lot of people have other brands and that's what they like to use so you can use metal with this the vessel is heat safe to 752 degrees so that also means that you can use this on a smoker or a grill like we talked about earlier the lid however is only heat safe to 400 degrees so if you're using this on your grill or your smoker don't use the lid use aluminum foil in that instance but for everything else um, 400 degrees for the lid um, this has a five year warranty I have had mine I don't even know how long we've sold them I'm gonna take a guess about 15, 13 to 15 years. We have carried the Rock Crocs. I have, have, I have all the sizes. I love them and I use them very often. The Rock Croc can also go in our slow cooker base, which I don't have that out right now, but I do have um, a playlist on my channel with some Rock Croc slow cooker videos. I'm gonna set that aside and as we go through, I'll move things out of the way and that way I make sure I don't forget anything. The next line of cookware that I wanna to talk to you about is our stainless nonstick cookware. Now. If you ask me, Mindy, what is your favorite cookware? I'm gonna tell you the stainless nonstick is my favorite. However, you'll see we only have these skillets here. We don't have stock pots. So when I need a stock pot, I go for our Brilliance cookware line. We'll talk more about that in a second. And I do have a whole video on my channel dedicated just to the Brilliance cookware. So if you want a more in-depth look at that, definitely check out that video. But for now, I'm gonna talk about our stainless nonstick cookware. So it is stainless steel, but it has a nonstick coating on the inside. So that's really cool. On top of that nonstick coating, let me see if I can get you guys a little closer look here. On, the, on top of that nonstick coating, you're gonna see a stainless grid. That grid gives you the ability to still sear your food, brown your meats, but it keeps it from sticking to the surface. And this one is also metal safe. I don't wanna to make too much noise. I don't want to sound like fingernails on a chalkboard, um, but this is metal safe. So you can use all of your metal utensils in here. This has a lifetime guarantee, and I'm gonna use my cheat sheet really quickly. Um, the pans are heat safe to 450 degrees. The lids are heat safe to 400, and I didn't get out any of the lids for this, but um, the wok, which I'll show you the wok and the other, uh, well, actually all four of these now that I'm saying this out loud, they all four come with a glass lid. Um, so these are 400 degrees safe for with the lids 450 without. And these can be used on any stovetop. So like um, 
gas, electric. You can also use them um, on an induction cooktop, which is what I have in my kitchen. And believe it or not, um, the time I'm recording this video, we moved into this house four years ago today. So it's really exciting. But one of the things is when we bought this house, I was just sure I was going to get rid of the induction cooktop. I was like, I don't want that. I can't use my rock rock on there because the rock rock isn't magnetic. I can't use my signature cookware. Um, and so I was just sure I was going to get rid of it. But um, my mom's best friend, Nancy Kay, who I'm actually named after, I'm Mindy Kay, um, she was like, don't get rid of it. And so because Nancy told me not to get rid of it, I kept it and she told me I fall in love with it and I truly do in fact I want induction in any house that I live in from now on because that's how much I really like it it heats up really quick it cooks really fast and it just is far superior to any other cooking um, uh, cooking style that I've ever used before. So I love that it can be used on induction and it is oven safe, like I mentioned before. It's also dishwasher safe. I rarely put this in the dishwasher because it's just so easy to clean. Now, if you're not familiar with what these are, these are our cookware protectors and they are great because you can put them in between your cookware pieces so that they don't scratch each other. And they come, I believe you get two small and one large. So I have them separating here and I just realized I need to zoom out. Normally I can see my screen in front of me, but I didn't have room for it. So um, I have it beside me. So I apologize for being zoomed in longer than I intended to. This is the 10 inch. So I believe this is eight and a half inch, eight and a half inch, 10 inch. And then we also have the wok, which is so amazing. So I definitely recommend getting the wok. It's incredible and it's perfect for stir fry. This is also a great pan for you to use for making, when you're browning a bunch of ground beef, you can do a lot in this. And you'll notice that um, this bigger hand has, a, this bigger pan has a handle on the front and the back. So that makes it easier for you to lift that up. So the next pan in this line, and you'll see these are bigger. So I wanted to keep these out so that you could see. Mine are so old, so they're so worn out. But you get two small and one large. And these are great for uh, things other than separating cookware. I have one if you have the old trifle bowl. The small one fits inside the trifle bowl. You can put the stand inside so that the stand doesn't swish around when you're getting it in and out of the cabinet. So that's another great thing. You can use them to separate your glass mixing bowls, your Pyrex dishes, anything like that. It's fine for stoneware too. So you can get creative, but those are cookware protectors. This is the 12 inch nonstick stainless skillet. And I'm gonna keep this one out for just a second because I wanna to talk to you about it just a little bit. Um, actually, I'm gonna use this one because it's a little bit, um, more dirty, right? So um, one of the questions that I get from my customers who have this is they're like, Mindy, how do I get it clean? And usually what they're talking about is the, the discoloring on the bottom. And I understand that it's not that pretty to look at, but that's just going to be expected cooking on these. So you don't have to really worry about keeping this clean, but if it just drives you crazy, you can use Barkeeper's Friend, just follow the instructions on the container and you can scrub this and get it all clean. I don't care what the outside of the pan looks like. I mostly want the inside of the pan to be, um, you know, clean and working nice. And so if you ever have something, so on the rim of this, there's a little bit of um, like oil that kind of got um, stuck on there. Um, and so what you can do is you can take a magic eraser and you can just wipe this off. So you can see it left on that magic eraser. You can also use the barkeeper's friend for that, but that's just giving you kind of a couple of options. The other thing that causes this, or the main thing that causes this is using high heat or using a gas stove. If you have a gas stove, just stop worrying about trying to keep your, your pans pretty on the outside because that gas flame, it is going to cause discoloration of your cookware and it's just not worth you taking the time to try to keep that clean, okay? So these are the stainless nonstick pieces. They are my favorite of all, um, but I do use the Brilliance cookware, which we'll talk about in a few minutes on my stovetop. All right, let's talk about the signature. I only have one piece of these, uh, this cookware now, and I'll tell you why. And that's because when I moved to this house, I had the induction cooktop. This is not um, induction compatible. So it's not magnetic, which means I cannot use it on my induction cooktop. It's, it can be used, I'll read this off so that I don't forget anything. The signature cookware can go on like a gas stove, an electric stove. It can also go in the oven and it is dishwasher safe and you can use metal utensils. So again, you can use metal on your cookware. It's totally fine for you to do that. 
I pretty much don't ever use metal. I have a, the metal fish spatula that we used to sell, and I do use that one sometimes in my stainless nonstick. But like I said, I can't use this on my stovetop, so I do use this in my air fryer. So that's a really cool feature of this pan is because you can take the handle off, it is dishwasher safe. So I want to show you guys how to put this handle on and off. So it really is a muscle memory thing. So when you first get it, read the instructions, but there is a little, a little button right here and then this is a big button. So you have to slide the little button in with your thumb and pull back on the big button at the same time. Um, if, you, if you just push and try to pull, uh, or just push and don't pull, it's not going to release that. And if you just pull on the big button, it's not gonna do anything. So you have to press in and pull down at the same time Time. Once you figure that motion out and understand what you're doing, it's very easy to use this and you're going to love it. These just hook on just like that. And so when you're ready to take it off, um, same thing. Sorry, I'm trying to get this in my camera here. Press here and you're going to pull and then look, you're going to sort of tilt to take this off. So same thing to put it on. You're going to press and slide and then slide this down at a tilted angle. If you're using this in the air fryer, it's really great because you can set it in your air fryer, put it on that shelf, and then press to take this off. And then when you're ready to take it out of the air fryer, hook it back and pull it out and your handle doesn't get hot. When you're putting this in the oven, do not put the handle in the oven. So um, that is something to keep in mind. These are heat safe to 480 degrees and any pieces that come with the lid, this one doesn't have a lid, any piece that comes with the lid is safe to 400 degrees. So that is our signature cookware. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Dishwasher safe, yes, metal utensils, and this one has a lifetime guarantee. So if I didn't mention this, the stainless nonstick cookware has a lifetime guarantee also. It's gonna last forever. And if you have any defects that are not caused by you, uh, manufacturer defects, Pamper Chef does replace them. So the key to cooking with nonstick cookware, um, and really any of Pamper Chef's cookware is um, you don't need high heat. I think people think if you, the higher the heat, the faster you're gonna cook something. You do need high heat for boiling water or reducing liquids, but you don't need high heat to cook most things. So if, you're ha if you have the stainless nonstick cookware and you're getting things that are sticking to it, it's one of two things or it's both. You're either using too high heat or you're not using enough oil. So you do need something to keep um, food from sticking to that nonstick stainless cookware because it does have that stainless grid. You do need a little bit of oil or butter or something to keep it from sticking. Now, the signature cookware, um, there's no grid. There's no stainless on here at all. And so you don't have to worry about that. You can use a lot less oil in the signature cookware. But the stainless nonstick, you do need to use some oil. And the key to keeping food from sticking and burning in any pan is don't use high heat. So medium or medium high for most things is okay. But be aware of that. High heat does not mean that you're gonna cook faster, okay? So if you wanna cook faster, get an induction cooktop because it really will blow you away how much faster you can cook in that. All right, I wanna talk about our enameled cast iron. A couple of things I wanna point out. I only got two of these out. I was running out of countertop space and so I decided I was not going to pull out all the heavy enameled cast iron pieces. So I have the milk pan, which is still nice and pretty. Um, I use this for uh, making like peas or lima beans, corn, things like that. But I always use it when I'm making gravy for Thanksgiving dinner. It is the perfect size, has the pour spout on the side here. Um, the enameled cast iron also has um, a lifetime guarantee. We do not recommend that you use metal utensils in there. It will scratch the inside or leave marring marks. You can probably get most of them off with Barkeeper's Friend, but we don't recommend metal utensils. Um, it is dishwasher safe. Believe it or not, the, the enameled cast iron is dishwasher safe. Regular cast iron, which we'll talk about soon, it is not dishwasher safe. So for these pieces, the only part of exposed cast iron is gonna be the rim. So you wanna make sure if you do put it in the dishwasher that you dry that piece, that section right away. These can be used on any stovetop, gas, electric. They can also be used on induction. So I am able to use these in my kitchen and they're also oven safe. And these have a lifetime guarantee and they're heat safe to 500 degrees. Now, the cool thing about this one um, and our covered skillet, they have these little um, knobs on the inside of the lid. 
The purpose of this is so that when you're cooking food, the steam hits the top of the pan and these little bumps kind of redirect that moisture back on top of your food. So it's like a self basting pan lid. Okay. So <clears throat> that is the, the rock. This is the, um, not the rock rock, the enameled Dutch oven. Now I have this in here because I have started making sourdough bread and I have found that if I bake this, um, my sourdough bread elevated on this rack, then I get a better crust on the bottom. So I just keep it in here. This is the rack that comes with a silicone egg bite mold. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. This is so that you can pull it in and out of the pressure cooker. But I, I open this up just like this. I put my bread loaf on the top and I bake it the same way that I always bake it. If you're interested in sourdough, I do have a sourdough class on my channel. You can watch that. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is cleaning your Dutch oven. You can use Barkeeper's Friend for that and you can use a magic eraser. If you are using this to bake sourdough or if you're cooking, you know, probably anything over 400 degrees, so 450, 500, what you're going to find is that it discolors and it's not really from the food. It's from, I think it's just like burnt steam, really. So you can look at the inside and mine looks really kind of dirty and you'll notice on the outside of the pan, it's also brown. Before I started making sourdough, my pan never looked like this. So it's the high heat and then with a little bit of research and questioning some other people, the high heat is what causes that. I'm not really concerned about the um, aesthetic look of this. So and especially if I'm gonna keep making sourdough bread, I'm not gonna waste my time and energy trying to clean this and making it look super pretty. Just like we talked about the bottoms of your um, cookware for the stove top. Um, don't spend your energy on that, but if you're not, <clears throat> If you're not using high temperatures, then you're probably not going to have to worry about that. Um, I did not have that as a concern until I started using high temperature. All right, now let's talk about our cast iron really quickly and then I'll end with the Brilliance cookware. So I did not get all of these cast iron pieces out either because I, again, they're heavy and I was running out of counter space, but I'll give you guys just the breakdown. These are heat safe to 650 degrees. You can use them on your stove top, so gas or electric. You can use them on induction like I have. They go in the oven. You can put them under the broiler. You can put them on your grill and you can use them on an open campfire. I'll never do that. I don't go camping and I don't cook outside. So, um, but those are some things that you can do. Um, they are not dishwasher safe. They are metal utensil safe and they have a lifetime guarantee. Now, being from Georgia, you might think that I grew up cooking in cast iron. Um, I don't know if my mom had any cast iron. I don't have any memories of her cooking in cast iron. My grandfather and one of my grandmothers, they did have cast iron, but it's just not something that I really grew up seeing or using, which is strange when I think about it now. But um, I use my cast iron probably, the, the not the enamel, but this cast iron. I use it probably less than any of the other cookware pieces. It's not that it's not great, it's just not what I am used to using and I just prefer other options. This um, is the five, I believe they're five and a half inch cast iron skillet set and you get two of these so that you can make like little desserts or small casseroles. You can use these in the air fryer also. So just this size, the other sizes do not fit in the air fryer. Um, and I have lots of air fryer videos so that you can check those out. This is the cast iron grill pan. So it comes with a grill press, which is great. And I put a cooker protector in there just for storage. But when you're heating this up, it's important that you also heat up the actual grill press. So you're gonna heat both of these at the same time so that the press is nice and hot. You do wanna make sure that you're using a silicone helper handle or a um, microwave grip or something on this so that you don't burn yourself because this will get hot. So this is the cast iron grill pan. And I use this one rarely um, because I mostly use my deluxe grill and grill because that's my favorite thing for grilling. All right, so making sure I didn't forget anything. Heat safe to 650, I can't remember if I said that part. All right. Let's talk about Brilliance cookware, because like I said, the stainless nonstick is my favorite, but I do need the Brilliance cookware line for um, the stock pots. And so I'm going to show you all of these. And like I said, there's a whole video on my channel where I feature the Brilliance cookware. So um, you may want to go watch that for a more in-depth look, but we have the four quart saucepan here and it has these really cool straining lids. So if you're cooking pasta 
or rice. You can pick which side you want to drain. There's smaller bowls on one side, larger on the other. This is a two quart saucepan, and so these um, are great for using on the stove. This is the eight quart um, stock pot, a huge pot. I don't need this one very often, but it's great when I do need it. And then we have the um, eight inch and the 10 inch frying pans. Um, I do use these some, but I tend to go for those stainless nonstick for everything. Um, and yes, you can cook eggs in your stainless nonstick, but going back to what we talked about before, you need oil of some sort to keep it from sticking. The, um, if you're not wanting to use a lot of oil when you're cooking, then go with the Brilliance or the Signature nonstick because they don't have any stainless steel. And you can cook with little to no oil at all in these. Um, we also have some larger uh, frying pans. We have the uh, weeknight skillet. We also have the five quart nonstick saute pan. It comes with the lid also. These do not come with the lid. So um, those, oops, I do wanna show you something else. So um, these two frying pans are the only sizes of the brilliance that don't come with the lid. Now, we do have this silicone handle. It was designed for our Brilliance cookware, and I love this. I'm gonna move this so I can actually make sure I'm keeping you guys your frame in the right frame here. <laughs> um, this is designed for the Brilliance cookware, and it fits right on these handles so that you don't have to worry about um, burning your hand. It does not fit on the other cookware lines. I've tried, so I'm gonna save you the trouble. It only fits on the Brilliance. Now, we also have these silicone helper handles that I was talking about earlier. And I like these because they fit on the sides of the Brilliance cookware. These handles will get hot when you're using them on the stovetop. Um, and the same thing for the lid here. So I definitely recommend getting those. I'm gonna tell you another thing that I love about the Brilliance cookware and that I feel like really sets it apart from the other pieces that we have. If you need a lightweight cookware, this is what you want to go with. It's lightweight on its own and then you add the weight of the food and it's not um, going to be that heavy. But if you're starting with cast iron, the cast iron is heavy. If you add food to it, it makes it even heavier. Um, the nonstick um, signature cookware. It is great. It's not super heavy, but it's not as light as the Brilliance. And then the stainless is going to be a little bit heavier than that signature. So this is the lightest. And then we've got our signature. Then you've got the stainless nonstick, then the cat, the rock rock, and then the cast iron. Hopefully that helps. Um, so you can clean um, these in the dishwasher. I put very little cookware, very, very rarely do I put cookware in the dishwasher. So um, it is dishwasher safe. You cannot use metal utensils. So do not use metal on the Brilliance cookware. It will scratch. If you do scratch it, it shouldn't peel. So that's a good thing, but it will scratch and it won't look pretty anymore. And nobody likes scratches on their cookware. Um, let's see, the vessels are heat safe to 480 degrees. The lids are safe to 400 degrees. You can use these on the stove top and in the oven. Um, and they, these have, whoops, maybe I was on the wrong line here. Let me say that again to make sure I got it right. 480 for the vessel, 400 for the lid, induction stovetop oven. They are dishwasher safe, no metal utensils, and a 10-year uh, warranty. So I knew I was on the wrong line, but most of that was the same information. So I wanted to make sure to give you the right information on that. So these have a 10-year warranty. So compared to the others, this is what you would consider maybe like a lower end or a starter set of cookware but I use it all the time and I prefer it. When I lived at my other house, I had all the signature cookware pieces that have the removable handle and I was able to use those on my electric stove top there. However, when I moved here, like I mentioned before, can't use them because they don't work on induction. Um, for a few years, I actually had to use non Camper Chef branded cookware on my stovetop because I needed these. And I'm telling you, even comparing this to my previous house, the previous stove, when I had the signature, I would still choose the Brilliance over the signature, even though the signature has um, a longer guarantee. So 10 years for this, lifetime for that. I have no issues with this. If you were in my kitchen and you would be able to see there's no scratches on the um, pans, they're in really great shape, but I do wash them by hand and I don't use metal. So those are some things to keep in mind. This is our um, entire cookware collection as of right now anyways. Um, I hope that this will help you in making your decision on which cookware you need or which combination of cookware because I really do like having a little bit of every cookware line. Even though I don't use the signature on my stove, I love using this piece 
in my air fryer because there's a macaroni and cheese recipe on my in my recipe community that's fantastic and I use it to bake this right in my air fryer. So um, even though that's the only piece I have, I still love it and I use it a lot. So I hope that this is helpful for you. If you have any questions, if you want me to help you figure out what cookware is best for you, just use the contact buttons from wherever you're following me, from wherever you're watching from. But I hope that you'll subscribe to me on YouTube. Don't forget to go to theflipflopchef.com. Click the button at the top of the page so that you can um, have access to all my recipes and the giveaway that I have every single Friday. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I have more videos coming, so stay tuned. Bye, everyone.